stepping up my game. I'm a beast to yes I am. We do I know I can. Roosters, very happy to be here. Thought I have a new exercise. It's seeing if I can get my Groovezilla to mimic the Groove animated guy. <laughs> grooving, yes, I am. I'm oh, grooving. I just can't get the butt thing down. That butt shake wiggle thing. That's <laughs> I love it. Um, at GrooveCon, someone there, I, I, I was torn between thinking it was a brilliant idea and it was terrible. They just ripped Groovezilla's butt open and stuck their hand inside and made him into a puppet. And I was, you know, the, the, the mom, the Groovezilla creator in me was horrified by the barbarity of it, but I kind of wish I thought of it. Wow, very clever. All right, well, I'm super excited. Uh, we have a rare treat here because, as I'm sure many people have seen, the incredible movie, The Digital Marketing Revolution, is out. It is People are watching it, enjoying it. We're getting incredible results, uh, incredible reports also of people loving it completely. And there are two gentlemen who are responsible for the making this happen, for getting this out there to the world, and literally for helping to create a digital marketing revolution. One of them's in Brazil, so he's not available. That would be Mike Filsane. Now, the other one is his partner and our partner, the great, amazing Glenn Ledwell. Glenn, thank you so much for joining us to have a little chat about the digital marketing revolution, what it means, and all of that. So, welcome. Thank you for having us, guys. I'm excited already. Just that gro that groovy intro. I was like, I was all into it. Like, <laughs> yeah. a great way to start. This is super cool, guys. This is really cool. Yep, this is what we do every month. We get on here. Yeah, we have awesome. a live conversation discussing various topics. But this month, yesterday, we had the watch party, kind of like the unveiling to the groove community of the digital marketing revolution. I saw there were a tremendous amount of super positive uh, comments, but Glenn, just so that we all know, we want to go behind the scenes, right? Pull back the kimono. What is it like to do something on that magnitude, to pull together 45 of the biggest marketers in the world? <laughs> so, so give us, how did all this start, first of all? We ever tried to herd cats. It's kind of, uh, that'd be easy, I think, uh, compared to this, but, no, the short story, and those of you who've, who've watched the movie, you know, the, the beginning of the movie, Mike, myself, and Matthew, um, who's the main producer, um, him and his partner, the director, we partnered with them basically. But we tell a little bit of the story, but, but the real quick, it's just basically Matthew has a digital marketing agency. And all through COVID, you know, he realised, oh, my God, this is a timing thing. And he called me a little over a year ago. It's not that long ago at all. And just said, hey, I've got this idea for this movie. And um, 
you know, honestly, between us here, like I've been approached to so many different movies. I'm primarily in the personal development space. And look, they're always the directors, the producers, they're all these arty farty types and they don't like to really tell a proper story. They just like it to look all cool. And I'm like, guys, you know, I can't do that. So straight away I said to Matthew, Matthew's a friend. I just said, well, Matthew, I would love to do this if it actually tells a valuable story that gets to a point that gives people value. It's not just just entertainment. And it's very entertaining, but it actually helps people, you know. Like, but what the only thing I can liken it to that's ever come out was The Secret. Like, The Secret, what, 16, 17 years ago? I mean, personally changed my life, but it was the way it was done. It was really, really entertaining, but it really gave you all these nuggets of information to help you. I mean, it massively helped me, propelled my life. So that's how when, when we got together, as soon as I spoke to Mike, Mike's like, so we're going to do something like The Secret, but for this space. And I said, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, so, you know, how did we herd the cats? Lots of phone calls. We did a shoot here in Vegas. We did two shoots in Florida. We did a shoot at my flight club mastermind in San Diego. We did a shoot in LA. And that was basically it. We just tried to get people together in these few locations. And uh, as you guys know, I mean, we've got some of the legends, legends in our space. And then we've got quite a few unknowns too. Like we wanted everyone that watches it to be able to relate. Mm -hmm. Are you an influencer on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram? Are you an email marketer? Are you more of a tech guy? Are you more of a behind the scenes guy? Are you more of a coach? So we were very intentional uh, to put, a variety, male, female, different races, different ages and all that to be relatable, but even more so to show people the different ways um, that you can create, you know, a passion-based freedom business is what, what I like to call it, whatever you're passionate about, um, and particularly how to become an affiliate and how to do that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think I probably over-explained there, Rich, but as you can see, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> Just a little bit excited about this. That, you know, the good news is we've been together a long time, mate, so I kind of know what's coming. So, it's, but, but, I, but here's the thing. I get to ask the tough questions because it's not very often that people have a chance to, A, watch a movie and then get to speak with the producer of the movie about the movie. So we're going to talk about the hope that it provides and all those things. But I, I, want, I got some other questions first. What's the worst thing that happened while you were doing the filming of the movie? What's the one thing that stands out in your mind as, oh, my God, that was a disaster. People love to know that stuff. So while you're thinking about it, we want to know because those things are not smooth. When you got 45 legendary marketers, it cannot have been easy. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> it's honestly, you know, when I think I'm just trying to think now and I go, out of all the projects I've been involved in, which I don't even know how, that part of it wasn't that bad. Mm. <laughs> because mm. We're working with really cool people we know really well. We talked about it a lot. We all had the same vision. So there was no real conflict. I want to do this. I want to do it this way. We are just all on the same page. Mm. And the boys, Daniel and Matthew, who's the director and, and producer, they did their bit. And they, the advice, any advice Mike and I offered for the way that we thought the teachings and, you know, the lessons it needed to do, they were just absolutely on board. So everyone just was congruent. I think the hardest part was, like we said earlier, hurting the cats, like mm -hmm. actually getting people together. Like, you know, I mean, we've got some really big names. Like how do you get Jay Abraham to drop everything and come to a studio to film this idea of a movie of probably, you know, the producers he's probably never heard of. You know what I mean? So, or yeah, Mark and, Ford, and oh, by the way, and with, when it comes to Jay and speak in English that the rest of us understand because that guy's brain is so ridiculous. Yeah. You have a conversation with that guy. You got to, could you explain that, Jay, a little bit back for, the, for us common yeah. people that speak regular English, right? Yeah, so, and you know, oh, sorry, go on. No, no, just saying. Uh, uh, so, but I happen to know that you have... 35 hours of content that was yeah. recorded and only yeah. one of it got released. That had to be one hell of a job to figure out one 35th of the total co content, right? 
to be the and one. You know what? Like the funny part about that is we had 50 hours or 55 hours. The 35 hours is when everything's cut, you know, just roughly cut, which hint, hint, there is a, uh, a product being worked on right now that you are able to purchase a month before everybody else, just a little bit of a hint, hint there, which yeah. is those 35 hours of, uh, of interviews. Edited, just roughly edited to take, you know, whatever out of them, but they're raw. Like they're pretty damn raw, you know. Mm-hmm. It's not a flashy, you know, like it's in the movie. So, but yeah, I mean, every one of those experts um, will have probably edited down to a forty to fifty minute interview. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's just a lot of work. work. Really valuable, right? That's a tremendous amount of work to get something. Yeah, like yeah. There are uh, those. Yeah, why we're madly doing the launch here. Those guys are madly over editing this thing that we said we're going to need this in about thirty days. Can you imagine editing, editing all that? <laughs> Even a rough edit of an hour of content takes two hours for oh, a rough absolutely. edit. A so, rough edit, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. I guess this will be a rough edit. That's what I'm it's saying. Good. It's edited but uncut. You know what I mean? It's kind of. <laughs> and what we mean by that is we're taking off all of the time wasted where like the interviewer might ask a question and one of us will sit there for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Going, yeah. yeah how am I going to, we'll take all of that, that out. Again, yeah. yeah. And leave all the actual content in there instead of the edited content. And maybe some, maybe a few people swore or maybe some people might make funny bloopers. That'll yeah. be a different video. The bloopers. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I know I myself had some fabulous had content that wound up on the cutting room floor. So I'm looking forward to seeing the, the full versions. Yeah. yeah. Tell us how, how was that for you, Donna? How was your experience being filmed, hanging out with the team? Uh, I know they're super professional, really know what they're doing. It's not like the rest of us that grab our friggin' iPhone and start whacking away at videos and then put them up on the air. I mean, it's not like that. Yeah, it's a lot like that, though. It really is. Um, we So I was filmed at Mike's home. Uh, I was there visiting when the movie crew came in. So that's when uh, I did my filming. In fact, we filmed about six people, I think, that same day in Mike's home. And we looked around to find new yeah. sets in yeah. each different room of his home to create you know, beautiful sets for uh, the interviews. Um, it was a, a fabulous experience. I didn't know what was going to be asked. Uh, so I had no idea what the questions were. I knew it was about the digital marketing revolution. I kind of knew the the topic and the you know rough idea, but I didn't know what I was going to be asked. I didn't know what I was going to say until the, the interview started. And, um, you know, thankfully I've been talking for a living for about 20 years now. So it was, it was fairly easy. The actual interview part was fairly easy. No. And you know, what's funny about that, Donna, like we obviously talked about that yeah. um, with the guys and, and um, uh, da- uh, the director, Daniel, he said, no, I don't want to tell anyone what I'm going to ask. I mean, from our previous conversation, mm-hmm. we knew the kind of content we wanted to get but that was some of his brilliance. Like, I agree. He asked the question. He wouldn't tell you to say something, right? Mm-hmm. He, he'd ask the same question, but in a slightly different way because he didn't quite get the bit that he wanted. Yeah. You know, so that was the brilliance. None of us knew intentionally what was going to be asked. I yeah. agree. That was brilliant. I think if, yeah. if he had an idea of the narrative he wanted to tell before he started the interviews, he didn't tip his hand. To that at all during the interview process no we didn't know so we really got to dig in and see what you know creativity got sparked from us and uh i'm sure that made the editing process much more difficult on his part though because yeah i, I know even that. along because as you know i was i was involved in a couple of uh two three of the shoots and um you know just watching him like everyone like we're saying you know think about these bites everyone was being filmed for at least a couple of hours like like it was a lot, you know, and asking these questions. And after I'd seen a few, I said to him, I go, you're actually editing as we're going here, aren't you? I mean, how mm-hmm. could he possibly keep up? He'd stop and he'd put a couple of notes on his phone. And I think he was piecing together. And as we went further on, he'd say, he'd know, like, oh, what don't we have yet? Yeah. And I think as it got further on, he it probably got a little bit easier for him because he knew what he needed. I've got those pieces from these different people or whatever, you know. So it's brilliant to watch. Like, 
interesting. So, yeah. so creative. Yeah. Now let's talk about, let's talk about the message because at the end of the day, the thing I, I was blessed to be able to see an early cut and then to see the final cut and, and really how it came together and really began to have some power and some punch. The, the one thing that comes out so loud and clear is a message of hope and optimism and you can do this. Yeah. Like that's the thing that I found gripping is you watch these people. And one of the things that you and Mike Phil same both talked about at the very beginning is every single one of those legendary giant marketers started out at zero. And oh. the opportunity today oh. is much bigger. And the pandemic has made the opportunity bigger. It may have hurt a lot of other industries, but for our industry of online marketing and the digital revolution, the pandemic has made it so much better because there are so many more people who are now online who know how to use online. So tell us a little bit about how that came about because it really is such a hopeful message. I love watching it. Well, that was really, I mean, that was one of the intentions from the beginning, you know, like because we thought, you know, we're going to have people that maybe have maybe just had a thought got a passion, they might want to turn into a business or they want to become a coach or they might be a coach or they might have a, a very small business and they're like, you know, they're, they're kind of treading water a little bit or just or haven't taken the first step yet. So we wanted to really speak to those people directly. Like, I mean, I've been in this industry 15 years. I feel motivated when I watch the movie. You know what I mean? I was involved in the movie. But so, I, I mean, to say that... I, it, it exceeds my expectations and understatement. I, it, it's better than I could have imagined by achieving the things that we're talking about here originally. Yes, you absolutely. What I talked about earlier, that's one of the reasons where every different kinds of person with every different kind of online business and the way that the story is told, which through, through brilliant directing, is showing you, oh, if that's not for you, this is for you, or this is for you, or this would be for you, or this would be for you. There's something in there that every single person who's ever had an idea or even had a thought mm -hmm. about doing this, they will go, oh, my God, I can do that. Oh, look at that person. They're similar to me. And then when you realise, to your point, Ridgely, yeah, everyone in the movie is very successful now. There's not one that was a silver spoon, grew up with money. They all started with from nothing, everyone, every single one. So I think that message is what gives you that overwhelming thing of hope that, yes, you absolutely, anyone of any walk of life in any country, of any culture, of any sex, can do it in any yeah. moment. You know? That's exactly right. And, and I, I had the same reaction that you did, mate. When I yeah. watched the movie, I'm like, man, i got to take my business to the next level. Gonna... <laughs> I mean, there's a whole other level we can get to here. What am I yeah, yeah. Like slacking or whatever. What about you, Donna? What was your take on it when you watched the whole thing and you had a chance to soak it in a little bit? Because you were on the inside and on the outside. What was that like for you? Yeah, um, the the movie is is phenomenal. It um, takes you through a journey of opening your eyes to what is available and what is possible in the online space. And I, we joke about it all the time. Working with, you know, marketers is a little bit like herding cats. Um, <laughs> and I think that's because we are also people who are, are drawn to the marketing world are, have big ideas and they have wide varied interests and sometimes focusing in can be a little difficult and what i love about the movie is that it exposes uh people who are just learning about the online marketing revolution um, to all of the different ways that they can approach having an online business and so i i love the 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 way that we hold your hand through the process of saying look, you can do this. We all did it. We're nothing special. Despite the fact that we're in a movie now, we are truly <laughs> nothing special. Trust me. I've been drunk with everyone. Nothing special. Um, uh, it's, it's not like we're particularly genius or that we were uh, naturally gifted when it comes to online stuff. Many of the people in the movie can't send an email. Like it's, it's, you don't have to have the technical skills. You simply have to have the idea. Some can't even talk. At, right, exactly. <laughs> 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 um, 
Um, yeah. Some, some can't even download a, a song to their phone. They're yeah. so technically challenged. Well, and 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 the other <laughs> thing that is, and here's a learning moment that we can use. There's also the opportunity to participate in the digital marketing revolution if you're not a content creator. If you're yeah, not yeah, exactly right. Creator. In other words, sharing other people's stuff. In so fact, for the Groovesters that are here, here's how easy it is, everybody watching this right now. The movie is at the digitalmarketingrevolution.com. If you would like to share the movie with your friends and potentially get paid if they buy something, then go to the digitalmarketingrevolution.com forward slash JV for joint venture, and you can sign yourself up Put that out in your Facebook, send it to your email list, go to Instagram, TikTok, Carrier Pigeon, whatever it is that you like to do to spread, spread the word out there. And there are people in this movie who don't have a product, who don't even want to have a product, who are not interested in creating a product, and yet they're still doing really, really well in the digital marketing revolution. So you're kind of the king of all that, Glenn. So maybe you can say a bit about that. Yeah, I mean, we obviously do talk. I mean, yeah, affiliate marketing and joint ventures is what I'm really known for. In this space, Ridgely and I, for those who don't know, we've partnered on a product and a software and called JV Hacking. So, yeah, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to joint ventures. But, but the reason I am is because back 15 years ago when I knew nothing, and I'm not kidding, I still can't type, I, I hadn't turned a computer on two years before that, before I had a business. I'd certainly never sent an email. Um so you imagine coming from that space, I don't know anything, um, but I found out, oh, there was this affiliate thing that you could promote others. So I'm like, oh, maybe I can do that. And anyway, long, long story short, I built my entire company for the first five years very quickly with just affiliates. What does that mean? No money, no risk. That's why I am so, now don't get me wrong. And a bigger business, you need all different pillars, you need all different types of traffic. But honestly, I built a, I made tens of millions of dollars only doing one thing, relationships with other partners, other affiliates, other people with businesses like mine or, or whatever that just had a product, get paid a percentage. Like I said, no risk. I call that free money, right? You only earn a percentage, but remember, you only pay after the sales mate so it's like to me it is just the by far the easiest way to start primarily because you don't need any money to do it you know yeah. you get a groove account and you learn just a little bit of fundamentals about joint ventures which you'll get from the movie you, you you're off you're off to you're off you can start your business so what all you need is traffic and yeah. something like groove and an idea for a program and you can build all that in groove so i mean and I remember there was a couple of people in the movie that had this experience. And I think a lot of us have had, I mean, I remember having this experience, which is, let me see, let me Google how to make money online. And then they Google and they get these ideas and then they're messing around and they're mucking about and they're doing this thing, whatever. And then a commission hits their account. <laughs> and they're like staggered and flabbergasted. Like, What? This really works. Oh my God. They have that OMG moment that maybe this really is real and that people actually make a living doing that. And obviously, the movie tells the whole story of they make way more than a living. They make. Well, like you said, Rich, you don't even, that's the thing. Like, we're talking about if you do have a product. And I mean, there's lots of people, and we talk about it in the movie. They don't have a product. They don't have any staff. They don't have anything. All they do is basically go out and talk to people send messages on social media and promote other people's products. They don't want to know about any of the other stuff. And they make a real, I mean, there's millions of people doing just that and making fantastic money. Yeah, which is really incredible. And I, I got to tell you, the, the thing that I found that was continuously inspirational, and I found myself going back, like watching a bit and then going back and watching it again and going back and watching it again to just let it sink in. That, wait a second, if that person and that person and that one and that one and that one and that one and so on 45 times can do this yeah, yeah. from every background, every kind of person, 
you know, couldn't do that. Maybe it really is possible. And the, to me, I found myself trying to step out because being obviously being very much a believer already. So I, I was not sold, didn't need to be sold on the digital market revolution. We're in that revolution. But what I found as an observer was I could see how if someone watches this movie, the confidence and the belief grows. It starts and it's like your eyes get open a little bit and then they open up a little bit more. And then they're kind of, and then the seeds start planting. M maybe, m maybe I could too. I mean, may well, if that, well, if that, well, if that, well, if that person can, I just, right? I, I had that experience as I'm going through it and it was uplifting. It was just, it was like a, a, a possibility of the human spirit is conveyed mm -hmm. through the movie of that you can do it too kind of feeling that is, you know, at the at the root of entrepreneurship and people wanting to take their life back and gain the kind of freedom that hopefully all of us are in search of. Yeah. And, you know, I think I love that. Like even, I, I don't know more. I mean, I, I, I like I said, I, I'm very biased, but I love the way the whole thing has come together. But, but I love that part component, which is very intentional all the way through it. But I really love how it's kind of like a training. It's broken into five sections. So it's like, oh, if this is the type of business that you want, all the stories are told and people, oh, this is how you do this. And there's so many real, real lessons. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, so if you haven't watched it yet, absolutely take some notes, you know, going through, oh, I didn't know that. That little trick, that strategy, that what not to do thing is in kind of five sections of the movie. I love that about that. Mm -hmm. It's about a you? really entertaining long training, isn't it, you know? Yes, yeah. I, th I think we need a follow-up to the movie because I think, yeah. I think we missed the mark. We said that there were five <laughs> avatars, and I think there are six. So I've been uh -oh. meaning to talk to you about this, Glenn. Wow. Because I'm really sure that we missed the mark on one of the avatars. One, jeez. Yeah. There's I a teaser. So um, we have a quiz that you can you can take and go through and it will tell you what type of entrepreneur you are. So that's part of the process of this movie and uh, that we we have identified five avatars. So I'll just give you one of them. One of them is a passion project expert. So that's someone who is absolutely passionate about a particular area like yoga or dog training or barbecuing. And then they go and design an entire business around sharing that passion with the world. Okay. That's one of five. Uh, but I think there's a sixth one that we've missed and it's, it's me. That's why <laughs> I feel like I've been missed because it's who I am. It's the intrapreneur. It is the person who loves the idea of digital marketing, the space of digital marketing, the, the, the strategies and the practices of things that you can do and the opportunity that's there, but wants to work as part of a team that wants to develop something that's bigger than them and be part of a movement. And that's why I'm part of Groove. It's not because yeah. I want to be an, an entrepreneur. I want to be an intrapreneur. Right. You're right. Because so, it's kind of between passion yes. and builder, isn't it? Yeah. You're still a lot more of a builder, but no, you're right. It's it's still around uh, passion. Yeah, you're right. There's one yeah. more. There you go. Oh my God, we're gonna we're gonna have to put a sixth one now. I think we need a, I think we need another movie. <laughs> well, another quiz at least. <laughs> what I love about that one. So so here's what I love about that. Uh, and it doesn't fit into the quiz because the quiz is what are the types of entrepreneur you are? And I think that's outside of entrepreneur. I think entrepreneur is sometimes a scary word for people. Yeah. Because they think about starting their own business and they think there's so much to do and I don't care about accounting and I don't want to worry about HR. And they get sort of bogged down in all of the scary details about running your own business. But the reality is you can find a niche in the internet marketing space and the online digital marketing space really? that doesn't involve you running your own business. Yeah. And it, it, like I have, I've found my home in digital, in the digital marketing space, being a supportive team member. I'm an, I'm a, a little bit of an operator. I'm a little bit of a builder. I'm a little bit of a passion project expert. Um, basically I just love digital marketing and I like growing a team of it. So, uh, and I, I think that that's, it's good for people out there to hear that, they can 
take advantage of some of the stuff. They can learn, for instance, copywriting. You can learn copywriting and you can work for another company as a copywriter and earn a very, very good really? living and have a lot of flexibility over your time and, and act like an entrepreneur without all of the headaches of owning an online business or being an entrepreneur. So there's a lot of opportunity there too that we, we really barely touch on in the movie as well. No, you're right. We don't on it at all. And just as you're saying that, I'm like, people like yourself. I mean, my my yeah. the people who really run my company, they've been with me 12 years. They could absolutely run their own company. I mean, That's they're right. all But exactly what you said, they don't want to do that. Yeah. They want to be part of a bigger organization. And that is like, I'd still call them entrepreneurial, but it's yeah. not. It's an in-between. I really like that you've brought that up. We're going to really, uh, we're going to touch on that on the uh, the sequel. Well, there is 35 more hours. <laughs> there we go. You could probably make a second movie without doing another movie. <laughs> at least. Well, um, well but, but I also. Because everyone who's not in it really wants to be in it now. So oh, That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, except for all the phone calls, you guys say, hello, mate. What about me? <laughs> I know a couple of people that said, oh, look, I'm just too busy. I know for sure. <laughs> they're regretting it when we put the trailer out a few weeks ago. Never alone now. They're like going, oh, man, really? It's yeah. pretty damn big. <laughs> well, I did tell you the next one. And I'm like, oh, I'd love to be in it. Can I be yeah. in it? <laughs> so, and what's your vision looking forward to where this might go, what this might do, what impact it might have as – basically the driver behind that alongside Mike, what's your vision for it? Glenn? I really, I think it's what we've been talking about. Like, I know we kind of, I remember when Mike first said to me, so it's kind of the secret. I'm like, yeah, hundred million people saw that in like, you know, a year or something, right? It changed the entire personal development. I mean, I started my company off the back of that movie. Like it was to say it was a movement is an understatement. Well, you know, when Mike said that, I was kind of like, oh, yeah, geez, I don't know about that. But, but I really do believe now that we've, I've seen even just the feedback and now that I've actually seen it, like this, the, the intention is absolutely to get hundreds of millions of people to see this movie. So hundreds of millions of people can at least now know there's an option. I think the billions of people that two years ago didn't know, know now already. That's why it's the digital marketing revolution we're in. Why more than two years ago? Because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Every single person that we all know lost their, that aren't in our space, lost their job or downsized or was laid off for a while or business went under. Um, and I mean, I know right from back then, I used to say to my team, guys, here's the thing to be grateful about. I've had dozen companies. Every single one of them would have been ruined by the recession in 08 when I was building this company and would have absolutely been destroyed by the pandemic, except the companies I own now, they weren't, right? We had to pivot a bit, but I, I, I constantly said to them, guys, I know all your friends have lost their jobs. I know a lot of your friends have got businesses or have lost their businesses. Like imagine being in hospitality, imagine. Like, I'm like, why not? So all those people that didn't even, yeah, they know what social media, they've heard of it, but. What's an influencer? What are these What are these terms we're talking about? Now they know. Everyone knows what Zoom is, right? Everyone knows what things like email marketing are. Like that's why I think more now people are, oh, oh, digital marketing? Oh, that's that internet thing. That's that online thing that I wish I was doing when the pandemic happened because I, my life wouldn't have been destroyed the way that it was, you know? So yeah. that's the plan, more and more reach, is our is our only plan at the moment to be completely yeah we're talking sequels and whatever and I'm sure we will um, but the plan is the plan is the plan is just get this as many people to watch this movie as humanly possible yeah and the impact that that'll have yeah. as people really have a chance to take it in and internalize the notion that they could be next. But yeah, you know, like I've always had this goal uh, with my main company, Mind Movies. We've always had the goal from the beginning. Like if we can, we've reached over 10 million people now. If we can reach 100 million people, and I really believe this in my soul, 
we reach 100 million people, that is a big enough amount that can snowball to world change on mindset. Mm -hmm. I see this as the same thing. If we can get near, I don't think we need even anywhere near 100 million people because when people get into this industry, they're fast starters, seem to be early adopters of everything. And for new people, they probably aren't aware of that. But we're quick adopters of everything. So I think that will snowball out of control and really, really change the world. Like not the not not America, not a, change the world. More entrepreneurs means more ideas, means more freedom, means more of everything, more free thinking. I mean, especially what's going on in the world now, right? We need more free thinkers, and uh, that's what entrepreneurs and this this type of movement will do. You know, give people that. What about you, Donna? What do you think? What's your vision? Uh, I, I, I agree with Glenn that spreading the word and the message far and wide is important. Um, and I think uh, Glenn approaches it from a more entrepreneurial side about, you know, more products, more businesses, more people taking control of their lives. And, and I think he's absolutely correct in that regard. Um, but what excites me about spreading the movie and uh, letting people know that there's opportunity available. And then the training that goes along with the movie, the free Groove account, the Groove training that comes with it. Um, I am excited that people are learning that it's easy to have a voice. And when it comes to a lot of groups of people who haven't felt or known that they had opportunity available to them or uh, didn't understand that it was so inexpensive to start an online web presence and yeah. get your thoughts and ideas and passions heard in the world. That's what excites me. Mm -hmm. I am more excited than anything about um, the fact that the movie can help people find their voice. And you know what, Donnie, you just made me think about exactly that. Like I'm thinking about now, like um, uh, Stephanie, my fiance has a friend here from, you know, she's from, from some country town somewhere. And, uh, you know, but in a normal brick and mortar business, mm -hmm. we we're just talking yesterday. She's like, well, no, well, I, I want more freedom now. Like she hasn't seen the movie yet. Yeah. And we started this conversation and she's like, she's not going to start a business. So I started giving her some coaching. I'm like, well, if the company you're working for, you're not able to be remote. I mean, lots of companies have pivoted in our industry. Everyone has like I had a physical office for 12 years that I just closed down in November, you know, just pointless. No one wants to come to an office anymore. So I haven't been to an office in 20, yeah, 20 right. years. Yeah. Your <laughs> earlier point, Donna, like you live your ultimate life. And a big part of that, you can be at home here in Vegas. You can be in Florida with Mike. You can be in Europe. Like we can be anywhere. Yeah. I mean, you know, our lives, we travel constantly all the time. It doesn't affect our business. So, but you don't need to run a business for that. Right. You just need to work for a company like any of ours, anyone in this entire space. Then you don't have to talk them into, hey, listen, I want to be able to be remote. Everyone's remote now. Yeah. I think that's the awesome thing too about yeah. uh, working for an online business is that people who are motivated to go out and be the passion project person will eventually need to develop a team if they yeah. want to grow and they want to. Absolutely. Leave. None of us wants to do all of the jobs required to run a company. I, I don't believe that anyone wants to do every job. I really don't. Sure. So. And you know what? Like, like that's what I'm just thinking about it now. Yeah. I used to have a huge team in San Diego, but over it all broke up, but I've always had a huge team in the Philippines of a physical office in Lithuania, right? Doesn't matter. But even my head people, one of my head writers just moved to Mexico. Not a problem. My my CMO, number one person in my company, lives in Barcelona. It's awesome. How can you do that, right? Like it, you kind of, we take it for granted, but anyone who's watching, yeah, you can absolutely have that life. A few of my, two of my top staff are going to come to Barcelona in the summer for two months. Well, I'm going to be there and hang out and work and get to be in Europe for the summer. Like when was that ever possible? Well, it's always impossible, but yeah. 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 We really need to add this as part of big, because that's a big section of people, Donna. That's it really is. It really player. is an enormous group of people. And show people the freedom. Yes. You know, it's just freedom, you know?
So bottom line here, and, and I'm jealous, man. Having spent four years in Barcelona, I'm like jealous. I, I might have to come over for a visit, mate. I don't know. I might have to just crash or something. Crash but you know, that's the whole thing. I mean, I've been, I've been crafting this life for a while, but I didn't think about, you know, just being constantly remote, even though I have an online business. But I've, I've had to change my mindset. And three years ago, it was only just before, I was still getting used to being remote. Like, I'm not that great a remote person, but that's when I realized, well, hang on a minute, I can spend part of my life here in Vegas and the winter's in Florida and the summer's in here. I can do that now. Mm -hmm. Well, I could have before. I just had to change the way that I think and look at it. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's a really, really, really good point because that's the big message of the movie. You can change the way you see the world and you can build something to manifest whatever you want if mm-hmm. you make that leap of faith if you shift your mindset just a little bit look at all these people they're just like you yeah. you can do this too anybody can do this and i think that's why it's so important for everybody watching this right now or listening if you haven't seen the movie go to the digital marketing revolution.com and check this out Watch the movie <laughs> that's the movie get inspired get a catch a little bit of the glenn donna ridgely fire that we have going on here just jumping out of the screen at you it's for real and it's for a reason we're excited and as soon as you do that rich like you said as soon as you watch the movie believe us you'll understand you'll be going to the digital marketing revolution for it's like jv you'll be signing up if you're not already an affiliate you'll be signing up and you'll be even if you don't have a list Post it on social media. Like, I just looked today, the amount of clicks that we got just from sharing the trailer and people coming back. Like, we just posted it out on social media. That's you right. know, if you just do that, why not? Make some free money. Mike calls it letterbox money. I just call it free money, right? There Make some free money. And if you've got a list, jump yeah. on board. Make some really good money and, and help us with this movement because it really is a movement. All right. Last words from you, Donna. Uh. One thing that pleases me to no end about being part of the digital marketing space is how turned on, tuned in, and alive my peers are. Mm -hmm. All the people that work in the digital marketing space are just there. They're present. They are positive. They're motivated and amazing people to hang out with. And I think that if you are looking for those five closest people to to up-level your personal space, watch that movie a bunch of times, you know, because being surrounded by that level of um, just openness about the possibilities in life and positivity about uh, the future is is quite contagious, so... Yeah, Sancia says here, I've watched it three times and every time I have, I wrote down a quote or a portion that spoke to me. I urge if you want a little bit of the energy, definitely recommend everybody watch this movie, Dream Big and Don't Stop. Last words from you, Glenn, producer of the movie. One of the- oh my God, that just, that, it just inspired me, Donna. And you know what? I was just thinking about that. We take this for granted. Like we've been in this space for so long. All of our friends, nearly 99% of our closest friends, we get to do business with. We get, like you just said, hanging out. We hang out all the time. We go to events and masterminds together. And yeah, sure, there's a business, you know, justification, I like to call it, but we really get to hang out. And, and I just remember every now and then, like and everyone on there relates to this. Everyone has that relative, friend or friends that are just, you know, life's terrible. Mm-hmm. We're all Yours. La, la, la. <laughs> everyone knows one, right? Everyone's nodding, I'm sure. I know mm-hmm. one. This is what I encourage you to do. Watch the movie, watch the movie, watch the movie. And whoever those people are, I'm not saying do that. Just spend a little bit less time and mm-hmm. seek out people that are much more positive. That is an, and stop watching the media. Stop watching media. That, if you do those two things, your life will be unrecognizable. Just that. All right. Well, on behalf of the entire Groove community, I get to have the last word to say thank you, Donna Fox. Thank you, Glenn Ledwell, partners and friends, for sharing this time with the Groove community and encouraging everybody to go watch the movie. You want inspiration. You want that good feeling. You want that hope. You want that possibility. 
Go watch the movie. Go to the digitalmarketingrevolution.com. Check it out and then share it with your friends. Glenn, Donna, thank you both so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. This is awesome, guys. Love you guys. Yeah. I will play us out of here. All right. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>